I'm Dan Johnson talking with Sam Watrous from Scalebirds, uh, the builder of this airplane, and uh, we're going to talk about Werner engines as well. But Sam, first let's go with just the airframe. Uh, tell us where you've come since we looked at you at Sun and Fun. Right, we got back from Sun and Fun and uh, had finished our wing calculations, so it was time to do a load test. We built uh, an outboard wing panel, which are not on right now, um, and we built the structure to load test that way. That took most of the summer to do, and we did a very successful load test to over 7 Gs. We're very thrilled with the results. Our calculations came out even better than calculated, actually. Uh, so we're now ready. We're now ready to uh, build the outboard panels uh, and fly this fall. But we've worked on the landing gear. We've started our engine installation and uh, and just gone through and started adding in detail to the interior and to the uh, to the outside of the aircraft. The tail feathers we covered them with Oratex, uh, okay. the silver in silver, and uh, it uh, it's fantastic. So we're 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 coming. <laughs> we're it's a wonderful along. product, the Oratex. We know about that. Um, I, I should have asked you first off, for those that may not have seen the other video, what are we looking at here? What is oh, this airplane? Let's cover that sure, first. Sure. This is a 60% scale replica of a Curtis P-36 Hawk. And with in the radial engine form, it's basically a P-40 with a radial engine. And the Army Air Corps had these before World War II. And then they switched to the Allison engine to make the P-40. So it's the same as a P-40. And we can, as in kit form, make either one. It's just an engine swap, a cowling change, and you've got a P-40. Okay, cool. All right, so the project is going along then. You think you'll fly this fall? Late fall, definitely before sun and fun. Wow, okay. So that's pretty quick action at Sun and Fun, it was much more bare bones than this, Yes. and you weren't too long into it then, so you're moving pretty quickly on this. Well, a, a lot of the time that's taken uh, and slowed us down has been doing the calculations. I have a great team of, of engineers, but we're all volunteers putting in our after hours time on the project, so it's taken a long time to get things done, uh, but now the, all the calculations are done, we can just build. And that's my forte. I'll work around the clock. We'll get it done. All right, cool. All right, let's shift gears a little bit, almost literally now, to the engine. Yes. And now this is a Werner engine, and I'm going to let you pick it up from there. Sure. This is the Werner 5SI. It's an 83 horse uh, direct drive engine made in the Czech Republic by Werner Motors. And they also make seven cylinders, nine cylinders. A smaller five than this, a 60 horse uh, five cylinder for the light aircraft, and then a 42 horsepower three cylinder uh, engine that the Legal Eagles and, and some of the very small planes are, are picking up and loving. So, the thing about Verners is their direct drive, their electronic ignition, their uh, carbureted or fuel injected with a throttle body fuel injector system, and uh, their robust. They're lightweight for their horsepower, and they make a lot of thrust. Their thrust output is more like a bigger engine would have. So they turn a bigger prop, and uh, they really works great for climb and takeoff, and uh, and and our customers are just loving them. All those references make me think that it must have more torque than a Absolutely. common engine of this dimensions and so right. forth. So this is an 83 horsepower engine. It puts out more torque than an 0235. Is that right? So it, I'm turning a 74 inch diameter yeah, big three bladed engine. warp drive. I got 13 and a half degrees at the tip. So it's it's putting out some thrust. So, what do you think, uh, given the engine, given the prop now you just mentioned, and the airframe that you're building and have evaluated, what? give me some ideas about what you think typical performance characteristics will be. On Speeds this, on and, this aircraft? Yeah, yeah, I know you're not there yet, so this is just so a speculation, folks. So it's super preliminary. But um, we want to get in the ballpark anyway. Roger. Um, so we're expecting a, a light sport uh, range cruise for this. So we're talking 115 knots okay. cruise uh, with the 83 horse and fixed gear. Okay. Uh, we are going to make an experimental version with the seven cylinder or 
maybe a, a 130 Viking or an Aero Momentum engine if you want the P40. Uh, and we're going to do retracks. So you will have a light sport capable aircraft uh, that's going to perform great, lots of climb, gentlemen's aerobatics allowed. It's going to be utility, utility category G loading. Okay. So it's plus 4.4 minus 2.8 with a good safety factor on top of that. Um, and then uh, the, the, the seven cylinder and the retracts is going to be a performing little machine. Do you plan to make it uh, light sport aircraft? Go yes. through the process of well, uh, it, it would be. We've been asked to by several. We're getting inundated with people loving this, so we, they're asking us for a light sport. There's a lot of decisions there. We'd like to talk to you about what it takes to do that. Yeah, it's not a small task. People would think that's a quick and easy uh, uh, method of approval are wrong. It's almost as rigorous as type certification, but right. it's different. Right. And it's much more affordable. So I hope you can go there and satisfy those customers that are interested. But either way, you know you right. can do experimental, and, and a lot of folks are very interested in that too. So We're definitely st planning to start out with quick build kits uh, and amateur built experimentals. And then as we can get into maybe an L SLSA or ELSA, whatever it's term is now. You, well, you start with special, the, yep. uh, fully built, and then after you've proven that and gotten your approval, then you can make the kit version, which is the experimental, which doesn't have to be actually a kit. It just gives the owner some privileges like his own maintenance and things like that. Right. Which to many yeah. people is quite important. So uh, it'd yeah, be good and, if you could do it all ways, but we understand yeah, so maybe small a enterprise, cent, tough to get it all done. Maybe a 90% uh, complete, you know, and they just got to do some work to the airframe and uh, it would be Sure, there are ways to do that. Whatever, yeah. whatever you can decide at that point is up to you. But right. uh, but that's your intention. So, okay, you're going to be flying. We're going to try and go ahead and time here a little bit. Let's imagine that you do have it all flown and you're happy and some things have, you made some changes or whatever typically occurs. And let's say you show up at Sun and Fun and, you, and now you, you're, you're kind of done with the design phase of mm -hmm. it then. Mm -hmm. uh, then, of course, you have to enter a production type phase and that's its own exercise. When would you guess a customer could take delivery of one of these? Or can you even speculate that far ahead well we're planning to have like uh, like a lot of the uh, kit planes you would you would do it in phases so like the tail planes was probably going to be the first kit out the door uh, and we're hoping to buy Oshkosh next year be able to offer that okay maybe even sooner possibly Sun and fun depends on our flight test program sure and what do we have to change if we have to make any substantial changes it might push things back six months of course but I know I'm asking go, you to guess the future right, here, and that's tough to do. It might go pretty but. smoothly because everything so far, engineering-wise, has been very smooth. So, we're, but somewhere you know, around a year from now, you might yeah, be getting pretty close to market. Definitely. Well, we'll check yep. back in with you then to make sure that that's the way it's turning out, and best sure. of luck on the flight test. Well, thank you very much. Uh, tell us where yep. we can if for the questions I forgot to ask, or people that just want to follow you, perhaps. Mm -hmm. uh, where do we send them on the web, Sam? So it'd be scalebirds.com. S-C-A-L-E-B-I-R-D-S. One word, dot com. Very good. Find more about this airplane and all kinds of affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com.